Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. I'll let you on the Tuesday before FOMC. Looks like it's the 15th of December. Dick in a box day yesterday. Everyone, including us, got long euros in the 50s, added <clears throat> through 60. Um, and then uh, either lost money or scratched the trade. No drama for us. It was a scratch, but pain in the ass. But now we have this triple top. It's kind of interesting. But go heading into FOMC, can we really um, get some legs here? I don't know. I don't think so. It's probably more of a smash and grab. And with hindsight, I wish I'd smashed and grabbed yesterday. At one point, there was a fair bit of money on the table, but I was sort of pushing chips in because um, we were approaching the year's high in Euro. I was short dollar yen. And blah, blah, blah. Anyway, here's the bar yesterday. Looks like a turn bar, but also looks like it could extend. Through 77, there'll be stops. I don't know. I'm not super, super enthused. Positive Brexit headlight could push that. Speaking of Brexit, you want to try and buy low ones in cable. Um, like really low ones, right? So like down low 132s. Um, otherwise, stay away from it. It's news, news driven today. It's going to be tricky. Dollar yen. What a ball kick that was. Holy shit. Shit was collapsing. Um, looked very negative yesterday at some point, and then bang. That's a turn. Very surprising that. We've already made a new high today. Um, I noticed my 95 bid uh, did not get done overnight. 96 for the low. Um, this looks like it's turned, right? Like, I don't understand why or who or what the hell was going on with that, but dollar yen caught a lot of people. Euro yen dancing on the ceiling up here. Oh, what a feeling. I don't know. Shit looks like she wants to go higher, but who knows? It's not really a cross yen time right now. Dollars are fucking around between 15 double O and 15.10. Dollar max looks big. It's four green days in a row since this 05 broke. Probably see some consolidation today. You can probably sell some high ones or buy some low ones. So you want to buy near 10, sell near 40 dollar max today. Euro Aussie got stopped out. Trend follower guys got stopped out yesterday. Euro Aussie back up through uh, 160, 130. Very trendy Euro Aussie, but not really trending, if you know what I mean. Back into the range. Let's see what that means for Aussie and Kiwi. Kiwi looks like she wants to turn. Wow. This is this is an equity play, I guess. Thirty-six forty-five. Pretty bearish day, but middling bearish, right? It's right in the middle of the range. Um, I don't know. Uh, Kiwi and Aussie look like they want to turn. You probably need equities to turn on this, or you need euro dollar. Look at Aussie! Wow. Apples. Why well, isn't Kiwi looking negative? Just noticing this. Um, let's keep an eye on Euro dollar. If Euro dollar starts heading left, um, although Euro Aussie is pushing this down as well. Two very negative setups, both Aussie and Kiwi. Tough to trade though, right? Because if you're going to sell here at 76, your stop is uh, above 20. It's a 45-point stop. 
none of you um, are looking for 450 points or even 225 points or any kind of multiple of that stop. So it's not a very professional trade. Um, we want to drill down on this and try and find and time this better on the short side or wait <clears throat> see if it creeps up a little bit so it's a little bit closer um, to where your stop needs to be. Of course, the more it creeps up, the less we tend to like it. I think we watch dollar yen, we watch euro, and if they start sort of signaling dollar buying, um, or at least not dollar selling, these are our horses, Kiwi um, and Aussie. Dollar CAD, not so much. Not doing too much there. ZB, we played around the short side yesterday, selling high ones, just kind of jobbing it. We'll do the same today. Um, already printed 31 up there, probably get through that high at some point. Well, let's just sell O2s to 12 and sort of job that on the short side. I don't think uh, ZBs are going to do anything crazy today ahead of FOMC tomorrow. Bitcoin kind of leaning left, but not really. Just sitting up here near 20. Nothing really to do in Bitcoin. Oil, no idea. Nothing to do. As you can see, I'm not super inspired today. It's sort of end of the year. FOMC tomorrow. I expect a rangy little shitty crappy day today. So trying to just gear up for like a little grab cash session, not what I'm famously good at. Um, I'll do my best with it and see. Let's see how these Muppets are doing. I wonder how those taste at 146, those Airbnbs, and those door dashes up at 188. Incredibly stupid. Hmm. Doesn't really get bearish. Doesn't really get risk off bearish until we get below this here. And I don't think we are. 35, 90. What's this? Yeah. I don't know. Crappy rangy day. Uh, I guess play on the short side of Aussie Kiwi. Whichever. Pick your poison. We'll also sell some high ones in ZB and try and harvest some profits there uh, and then we'll put our head together for um, what we think is going to happen FOMC tomorrow not much to chew on today might be a day just to take the day off um, but anyway we'll keep it light here and I wish you guys good luck whichever way you go with this and talk to you tomorrow